Coming up next on Teardown, I've got an uh, unknown year. I haven't run the VIN number yet. Uh, the kid I got this from wasn't sure of the exact year. Uh, it's a KLF 300 two-wheel drive. Non-runner. The story behind this one goes, the, uh, the kid I got this from got it from a relative and took the uh, cylinder head in to have the valves done. Apparently it was all professionally done. Now I won't know how the valves look until I pull the cylinder head off. But he couldn't get the thing timed. He said it was backfiring through the carb or backfiring through the exhaust. It could be 180 degrees at a time. I have no idea. It does crank over, put some jumpers on it. Now this is the two-wheel drive version. Some of these parts may interchange with the four-wheel drive version. Some may not. Uh, as far as I know, the KLF 300 two-wheel drives were all the same for all the years. Maybe some uh, color changes, graphic changes, that's about it. As far as I know, they are all the same machine, though. I'm pretty sure on that. It's a single headlight. I didn't think they had a double headlight version. Two-wheel drive. And this one, I think, has drum brakes on the front. They look like drums. Hydraulic drums, I suppose. I'm not real familiar at all with this machine. It's an aftermarket gas tank. It says Clark on the cap, and apparently that's why the plastics wouldn't fit back on. I don't know if it's correct for this year. I don't know yet. The seat's been poorly recovered, obviously. Plastics are fair. Got a ding in one of the back wheels there. I have another whole set of wheels, too. Plastics are about average for the year, a little bit on the rough side. But it's a complete machine, it's all here. It does turn over, it doesn't start, I haven't messed with it at all. KLF 300 two-wheel drive. Thanks for looking.